The kingdom of God will flourish when we stop chasing greatness and start choosing goodness. In recent days, I have had to put this principle into practice. In 2021, I was approached by a mentor to consider leaving the church I planted to pastor an influential church in California. Right away, I denied the opportunity, but then I started to pray and research. It turns out this church was set up to fulfill all my vocational dreams resource new church plants, influence more pastors, and reach a far wider audience with the gospel of Christ. On top of it all, they were just months away from becoming debt-free on a 40-acre property with over 125,000 square feet of building. My heart began to race, and I submitted my resume to the search committee. To my surprise, I kept qualifying for the next round of interviews. After a road trip to California, I was set to become the new lead pastor of this legacy church. It was a bittersweet moment since I was leaving the church I planted, but I found a lot of comfort in the Bible about sacrificing my life for the mission of God. On our drive to California, my wife and I shed a lot of tears. Tears of sorrow over leaving the church family we worked so hard to cultivate. Tears of joy because we could not believe God would platform us at such a young age. I was two days away from preaching in view of a call when everything changed. Though we had many discussions beforehand, we began to notice how our mission, vision, and ministry philosophies were not aligning. We were having a great time dating, but both sides started to worry this would not be a great marriage. A lot of this is documented on my YouTube channel. But I wound up driving home early and resigned myself from the position. It was the right thing to do, but a hard thing to do. We shed so many tears on the seven-hour drive back to Arizona. I was ashamed, embarrassed, and felt like I ruined my entire ministry career. Thankfully, our wonderful church family welcomed us back with open arms. In many ways, I still haven't fully recovered. I have vacillated from being the wounded pastor wallowing in self-pity and the conceited pastor steeped in self-promotion. But do you know what has brought peace to my anxious soul? Choosing goodness. I don't have all the answers as to why I was brought through this journey. I do, however, smile at the thought of God intervening in the name of goodness. Maybe God cared more about me enjoying my children than growing big churches. In his kindness, maybe God kept me from gaining the whole world but losing my soul. In his mercy, maybe God deemed it fitting for me to learn that I am loved at my lowest point. This invitation is on offer to every pastor. Start choosing goodness and stop chasing greatness. Choose to believe in the goodness of God and trust His timing. Choose to serve the poor even when it doesn't make you rich. Choose to bring an oppressor to justice even if it cuts your attendance in half. Goodness is choosing the betterment of another ahead of your own. Chasing greatness is consumed with the outcome, but choosing goodness is concerned for the outcast. I love how Daryl Johnson puts it. Only sacrificial goodness can finally stop evil in its tracks. We do not overcome the evil of history by echoing evil, by playing the game on evil's terms. We overcome by speaking the truth, by blessing the enemy, by enduring the suffering instead of inflicting the suffering. Evil is only defeated when it is outmatched by sacrificial goodness, goodness that is willing to go all the way. By God's grace, a non-anxious pastor breaks free from the ego.